What do you want me to say? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, so I totally messed up the definition of agape love. I just, clearly it was just provocative to me. Agape is the kind of love that is not of human origin. It is the love that is said to be of God, a God type of love. Um, it is a unique love. Um, it's a love that sacrifices for others. So I guess it is still very... Um, oh, my bra is showing. Okay. Agape love is unique love. It is the love that God has for its people, his people, or her people, if you believe that God is a woman. Um, agape love is unique. It is strong. It is love that sacrifices for others so it is very apt for the survivor game because at the end of the day people are going to be sacrificed in order to win or for the community really it's a it's definitely a selfless love and hopefully people remember that as they're playing the game i don't know i'm just trying to figure out when i had the blind tag in order to make it far yeah <laughs> yeah. I always thought yeah. I was thinking about text messages. <laughs> what do you say? Never mind. You know what about blindsiding? <laughs> to make it far? No, I'm talking I, about blindsiding? No, I, I said nothing. Dick. I, I didn't say anything. Don't worry. I heard exactly what you said. No, it's just a rock. Are you guys on that app? No. This is, uh. This is something else. Yeah. You know the show Survivor? It's what I've heard. It's. Could. If it's not him, it could be you. Just because really? of the partner thing. Mm. I don't think you're nearly as, like, a big target as he is at okay. this point. Because I've heard his name, like, a lot. Okay. Um, I think the first move that people want to make is get rid of the partners as soon as possible. Because just having the possibility of two people having immunity for two weeks, um, that's definitely a really big threat. And I think all the partners in the game right now are perceived to be very strong partners. Like, I would not be happy to see any of the other pairs get the immunity. And I feel like if we're gonna um, do Holly, we might as well just go all the way with it and take out LeCompte. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Like, and that'd, that'd be a huge fucking deal to get rid of LeCompte. Right. I want to focus um, on really building the relationships that I've had. Um, because, like, looking back, I definitely know that Maintaining relationship was definitely like one of my weaknesses and I need to really work on my social game. And so I think by making sure that everyone I'm working with is just really in the loop, that's the best way that I am making moves. I know where the idol was supposed to be and I'm gonna put a fake idol out. This is gonna be it, I'm sorry to whoever finds it. Oh, this is so funny! I'm gonna get y'all, whoever has a fucking idol. Fuck you, I know where it was! <laughs> This is gonna fuck everyone up so bad. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> hey, right now, I'm on my way to plant my first fake idol. Got my little note in there, got my little tribal looking necklace. My plan right now is to approach Holly, tell her I have the clue that Mike gave to Evan, and I know she has a clue. We should work together and look for it, yeah? Let me lead you to this fake idol so you can use it and get out of the game, because that's one less pair that's in, which means I'm one step closer to getting that pair advantage. Sorry, Holly. You ready? This is, Holly, this is where I'm gonna lead you to find this idol. Not near the bronze, but near the grass. In the grass. Sitting here waiting for uh, Evan and Micah to show up. I think they're together. Coming up with some weak excuses for why they can't be here. Um, so I'm not a priority to them either. Me and Evan tried separately, totally separately. Me and Evan were trying to meet up with Faluke. I was saying like, hey, this meeting's running late. Like, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it out. Uh, I'll, can I text you like when it's over? And, but and then she just like never responded. And then, uh, Evan tried texting her like when he was done with his confessional and she was like, oh, so it took you two and a half hours to do a confessional. He's like, oh yeah, I was watching videos with Austin or whatever. And she's like, mm, sure, whatever. And like never responded to him either. It's like, I don't know what you're trying to do. But, like, we're, we were trying to talk to you. We were trying to like work something out. 
to like make a move, but like you're just like tr totally ignoring us at this at this point. Like I don't I don't know what you expect us to do. For all we know, I could be going home tomorrow, and I think I'm at peace with that. I don't think I am, but it's not gonna be cute. Whatever happens tomorrow. You're mad at us. Like, why wouldn't we want to get rid of somebody who's mad at us? Like, you're only going to work against us at this point. That's why we're going for Faluke. She's mad at us, and getting rid of her won't make anybody else mad at us. And it'll also weaken Shannon. Obviously, I'm not trying to start any of this. It's just things I've heard from people. Okay. I have heard Chris's name come out a few times. Chris Lecomte. Hopefully, I wouldn't vote for myself, so yeah. <laughs> because at the end of the day, like, I... The, pe the people game. that have pitched it to me, I think, make a good case. Because okay. Chris is by far a better social game, strategic mm -hmm. game. Over and, Holly. And much better in challenges over Holly. I don't think that's true. I think more people like Holly than Chris. Come on. Chris has pool with everybody in the game. Holly does not. Like, I just think Chris is better. Okay. Okay. Also, you're probably going to run and tell him I said that, which is awesome. Please don't. If you tell me not to, I won't. Like, I will, like, give you my word that I won't tell him. Who did, who did, be honest, who, who did she say I wanted out? Because I told her a specific name. She, like, I, I promised on, like, whatever, like, she didn't tell me. She did not tell me who you're targeting. You want to play the, uh, trust phone game again? The what? Trust phone game. Or is that only with you? The what? Trust phone game. Oh, to show you my text? No, nah, call it. Oh, I, like, I'd rather not. I mean, like, just just ask her one question. That's all I want. You don't have to, anything else. What am I asking? What was what was the one name Chris Thomas brought up to you? Aside from Holly, I think that was the only name we talked about. I talked about one other name to her. <laughs> don't talk. Hello. Hey. Sorry, um, I just met with Chris, and I was just curious, like, what did he tell, like, what did he tell you his plan was? Like, did he tell you, like, who he was, like, targeting? Because I don't know if I, I don't know if I, like, necessarily know what he's saying or believe what he's saying. Um, I mean, what he's telling you. I mean, he's, he, I mean, he's saying, what? Tell me what he's telling you, and I'll tell you it like, matches what, what I'm no. I mean, like, did he like say any name other than Holly, or does it did it just seem like he was doing Holly? He told me that he was voting with me, so that's what he literally like. He shook my hand and promised that he would do for for Holly. Yes. Did he like say only Holly? Like, is is he definitely doing Holly? Do you think? I am under the impression he will vote how I vote. Alright, see ya. Alright, that was, that was sketchy, but whatever. Why was that sketchy? Well, because it sounds like you said that you gave, you did get her a name. I did. I gave her your name. That was a test. She, I'm not going to vote for this week. Oh, damn. I, I, I told her one thing in confidence. I said, damn. I, I want to vote for Chris. If you tell Chris this, then everything I, I did to trust with you was, was not valid. Wait, so you brought? I, I, no, I don't. No, I don't actually want to vote. I, I didn't think so, but I'm saying like. But I. She was the only person I told your name to. Like no one else has, has ever told me out your name. Damn. I was strictly a test to see if I can trust her, and she passed. Like, good for her. I can trust her. Damn. I mean, like, I guess I can't. I can't hold that against her, because like I can't expect her to just tell me everything. But like that surprised me. Like she, I definitely thought she straight up with me about everything. Like she told me that if someone said my name, she would definitely tell me now. But you get how it's eye opening for me. That she wouldn't tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. I guess I have to expect people to want or be willing at least to vote me out. I don't have a mental breakdown. Like, I can't do this right now. Like, holy fuck. <sighs> I guess I just don't really understand how it went wrong. No, I do. Like, Mike and Evan fucked us up. But... I mean, honestly, like, if I were in Mike and Evan's spot and I was offered the deal that she and I gave them, like, holy shit, I would have taken it, you know? And so, I don't understand what their reasoning is. Like, 
Why? Why? Not what I want to do. I don't want to vote Holly either. And we don't have numbers. That's bad. Alright. So, I'm so sorry about this. I know you were the one that warned me that I was going home. And I'm really sorry I had to do this, but this was the plan that was brought to me to try to save my own ass. And honestly, it might not even work. You might still be in after this. And I hope you don't hate me for writing your name down. I might be going home still. Like, I don't know. But this is my best shot. And I'm so sorry. I genuinely am sorry. But I gotta save myself if I can. Sorry, I'm just doing some simple math. <laughs> so right now I have these possibilities. <laughs> oh. You gotta hurry, really. God damn, but if I... We have the numbers to not vote out for Luke K, but I just can't talk to everybody. That's tribal for you. You know what? I'm just doing this as principle. What? Is, do you spell Holly with an I? Yeah. I'm gonna put it with a Y. Just, just the fuck with it. So, a little surprise, not gonna lie. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I was sad about voting against Shannon, or at least putting on the outs. Like, I really, I don't want to, but, like, I felt bad inside just because we worked so well together. But I just figured she was getting way too strong with who she was with in Fluke and Crystal Compt, and I figured I could weaken her without taking her out. So, um, hi, Shannon. Wow, long time no talk, Evan. Yeah, um, so about last week, like, I understand, like, why you would maybe want to be gunning for us? I don't know if you are, but if, if you, I didn't say that. I figured like that like we could have gotten you out, but I didn't want to do that because um, I'm not like you. You're, you're yeah. Shannon, but um, and I, like I'm sorry I had lied to you just just because I, I didn't want you to freak out and tell. Okay, just because I, I I thought you two were that close. If you weren't, that's that's my fault, and, and I'm sorry. I didn't I even talk to her before travel. It just like I was still I was like. Even like during the challenge, I was kind of like, why would they both have like lied to me? Yeah. And like, it's, I literally like, so you, you guys realize that I definitely could have like gotten you guys out of that challenge. Like oh, you yeah, were right yeah. in front of me with balloons, yeah. but I chose not to because I'm like, there's got to be an explanation behind this mm -hmm. and I'll like hear them out because I know there's two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. So I still chose like not to do anything to try to like jeopardize mm -hmm. uh, things. But then, I don't know, now I feel like kind of an outsider on the thing just because I haven't talked to you guys either since then. I just want to like get this on record. Like, I still want you and Eric to get this immunity. Yeah. And so, like, I'm still gonna work towards that. Okay. Um, and like, that involves working with you mm -hmm. to do that. So. I understand. Because yeah. after after the vote, I'm like, wow, I'm really on the bottom right now. Like, no one told me anything sad. Like. Mm -hmm. The reason that like I had to lie to you on the phone was like people were coming up and I. I didn't know like who knew what plan was okay. happening, so I like even a text or something. I know, I know. <laughs> Not something I could read after the I'll be like, oh, at least he tried to fill me in. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. I don't know, but it was just kind of like sad, Shannon, for yeah. that. There was yeah, there was just oh. a lot of scrambling. No, I understand. I understand. Now there's a lot less doubt, or a lot more doubt that me, Shannon, and Mike are not working together, which would help us. Like, wouldn't that be a great storyline if the Soka Trio just takes over all stars and makes it to the final three. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was sad, but hopefully we can hopefully we can rekindle and start fire later in the game. And I mean I hope next week you don't come for us because I'm not coming for you. I would say like can you give me my word on that, but your word on that, but I don't know if that really means anything right now. Because you promised me Well I I mean yeah I know. What I'm trying to do in the game right now is kinda of just like be involved and like make sure I'm aligned with the right people and make sure like we we have plans going in travel, but like kinda lay low for the most part. Like for everyone thinks that like LeCompte is basically running my game right now, which is fine for me because that means he's gonna get put out before I do at some point. Everyone's gonna target him and not want to target me, which that works for me. I mean Evans approached me a lot saying that me and him are tight and that he really wants to work with me. So I mean unless he's lying to me about that. I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I know Shan doesn't want me gone because we're partners. So a majority of people I don't think want me out of the game yet. So I'm cruising a lot easier than the merge in my season. I mean, it was basically given that 
the first challenge I didn't win, I'm going to get voted out. And that happened to be the second challenge. So this time I've lost both challenges, and I think I'm still going to be in the game after to, after the night's vote. So I peep that over there. <laughs> so stuff has changed. Oh, okay. Do you know... What names have you heard? I've heard Micah's. Yeah, and there's a strong push to get Micah out. By... Really? By Chris Harris? Well, the other side, basically. Okay. okay. Um... I... <laughs> I mean, obviously I don't want that. Right, of course. And... <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's not a comment for you. We have to notice I'd like to think I'm tight with Shubo right now. Like, we've, I think, shared all almost all of our information with each other. Basically, since he saved me from the vote that was going toward uh, Michelle. So I think right now I'm good with Shubo. From what I heard from the comp, you're voting for Tora. I'm not. Why would he say that? He knows that I w I'm not voting. For when, Victoria. I mean, he didn't tell me directly. He gave these numbers through Mike and Evan at different times. Um, and he said that you, me, and a, th a third person, I forget who, but I think, I think it was Holly, is voting for Victoria. No, I'm not voting for Victoria. Who are you voting for? Sure. Why? I don't like him. I want him out of the no, like, He's threatening. No, like, I, I understand that. My one fear with him is that everybody I've talked to is sketched out by Shubal. Which makes me a bit hesitant to work with him because I don't want to be associated with that sketchiness and put a target on myself. So I've actually been going to people um, this week, proposing to get out LeCompte this week and then get out Shubal next week. Um, because I'm trying to build trust with the people and I also Shubal as an idol. I'm telling people that I want Shubal out, but in reality, I, I don't want him out right now. I would like for him to stay in because while he's around, he's, he's, a, he's a bigger target than I am. And I like that. I like it a lot. If it saves you, we'll deal with it. Yeah. I think I would prefer the comp, but... I wonder how many times he's heard me bring up his name. <laughs> I believe he's told every... I have told Holly that I know we talked out. I've told Ashley that. <laughs> i told Eric that. I've told Shannon that. Yeah. Like, I, I do agree. Like, I have been saying, like, oh, next week, next week, every time. But the thing is, he just, like, keeps proving himself to be, like, semi-useful to, like, our side. I just so we this game. Yeah. I, I would be so sad if LeCompte and Holly got it. I just... Like, I, I don't mind Holly. She's a nice girl. It's just LeCompte, I think if he gets that, he's gonna... And then he's just gonna be in this insane position of power where he, where he can just control the game. I, I've been telling everybody I want Shannon and Eric to be the final partner. Because no one really sees Eric as a threat. But in reality, I would... I would love for Victoria and Shubal to get that to get that immunity for the partners game because I think I'm pretty tight right now with both Shubal and Victoria. Like we, we share basically all of our information to the best of my knowledge, at least. If not, they're putting on a, a pretty damn good act. Um, so I would love for them to have that, and then for me to kind of tag along with them after they get that immunity and have a power three around like eight, because that'd be almost half. This game has now become. Something that has, at times, become very not fun for me. Definitely lose sleep over it. Um, not even just about the strategy part or about who I want to get out or who I think is going to get out. But it's more the fact of things I've said to people like Shannon or Holly and not staying like true to my word and then having people lash out and not just be mad from my gameplay perspective but be mad at me as far as like how I'm treating the game or how I'm treating my relationships and um, I don't know I've just gotten to the point where it, I don't even know if it's it, it sometimes doesn't even feel like it's worth it to to stay and play and lie and be lied to and, and do all this. It comes down to the fact that Shannon is one of my, she's pretty much my best friend and she came to me at a time when I really needed someone and since then we've gotten really close 
and some of the things that don't really have to do with the game or might not have to do with the game, I have noticed, and she called me out, that I've been using them to advance myself in the game. And things that she tells me in the game, I've also taken to other people when I'm not, when I wasn't supposed to, and I said I wouldn't. Basically, what she said is that like my true colors are shining through, and that I might win the game, but I'm gonna lose a friendship. And it's just it's one of those things that, on a grand scale, like I'm not really willing to to lose something that's like longer and more meaningful than the game of Survivor. I mean, it's one of those things where. I really don't want to play anymore, but I don't, more than that, I don't want to quit, and I don't want to give up. I don't think it's going to get much easier, but then I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw in the towel, like, I'm not going to get voted out by a majority and just let it happen, like, I'm going to fight. I want to ask you a few questions about your new home. Okay. So, tell me about when you first got into the closet. How were you sitting? Like, how did it feel? Was my carpet nice and soft? Well, when I was first shoved into the closet, <laughs> just shoved and sat down, I didn't. I had so much adrenaline pumping that I didn't even realize that I was sitting <laughs> on my keys, like just smack in the middle of the butt cheeks, like not comfortable. Um, yeah, so I just didn't move, and then after a while, I'm like, oh, maybe I could get used to this. And just no, I realized it just wasn't for me. <laughs> Throw the shoes. Okay, so, so throw me. Throw me. Throw me. Right here. Throw me onto the ground forcefully. What? What is this? Right there. Right there. Can't move. Can't move because I'm straddling. Straddling the door. Oh my gosh. Um, I got some underwear over there. Yeah, I saw Sorry. It. I, I'm I sorry. Just, I was I'm just sorry. like, I don't know if Shannon wants me seeing all this stuff. Like, maybe I should go idol hunting. <laughs> I do not have an idol on there. And so then I decided to carefully try and make my move. <laughs> See, that's you did not, you did no, no, no. I did. I went like this. I went like this, though. I put some pressure. And I was going like this to try and get the pressure from the thing. But that, I so I just kept going. I, <laughs> I can't believe you didn't stand up. Oh, I, I, I stood up around minute like 32. <laughs> I literally know every pair of shoes you have now. Like, oh, at every challenge, I'm like, oh, she chose the rainbow Asics. <laughs> oh, she got the, the yellow Nikes on today. <laughs> yeah. God, that was the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, it's funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be traumatized at the situation. Uh, I want this no, one. No, no, I'm no. just choosing random. You want this no. one? No, <laughs> stop. You took it. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Uh, five, stick it three. Okay. No, you can't. I, I don't want, you can choose one of these. I'm going to take that pizza back. Nom, 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 nom. What a fun fact. Hit me. I would never eat chicken wings in public until last year. I was literally Why? afraid because I thought they were so messy. A little head shake. Nice try. Come again? <laughs> Come on. Fam. It's like the third what time. What up, fam? What up, Chill, fam? Bro. <laughs> oh, oh, right back at ya. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> nice. This is it. This is where I turn it around. <laughs> on, yo. Them aces, though. Oh. oh, come on. Yo, she's cheating. <laughs>